Hi, and welcome to the June episode of T Viva, a monthly program that just talks about all the wonderful things happening in Fall River this month. I'm Patty Rigo, Executive Director of Viva Fall River, an organization that does just that, highlights Fall River's wonderful small businesses and it's even more wonderful community. I'm here again with, uh, thank God again, <laughs> my co-host Ashley Okino. Hello, you look lovely today. Thank you, you look pretty festive yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Ashley is the Executive Director of the Fall River Arts and Culture Coalition, which is a collaborative member um, member based organization dedicated to advocating for artists and creating um, collaborations supporting the arts and culture community in Fall River. Yeah. Bill, thanks for having me back again. Always. I, I, I will go and get you if you don't show up <laughs> one day. So I just want you to know it's not really a choice. So uh, why am I wearing this hat? So I have to start off by saying that we made a boo-boo last month and we, you know, we love to celebrate things. And last Last month, last uh, episode was our um, one year anniversary of the pilot episode of TV Viva, yep. which we did not celebrate. So nope. I'm just celebrating it a little bit. Um, but I'm going to chalk it up to the fact that we had an incredible May to outline, and it ended up being just as incredible as we thought it was going to be. Um, we had so many things to celebrate, and uh, I just want to take a little bit of time today to just talk about those. Hopefully, you actually were able to attend the events, but if not, I just want to say, you know. Well, missed out. First, I want to say, though, thank you to Fall River Community Media for, for giving us this positive platform. It's really nice to have. I look forward to doing this monthly and just yeah. letting people know about all the great things going on in our city because it's really hard sometimes to cut through the noise and the clutter and focus on some of the good things. And that doesn't mean that the bad things don't exist. We're just here to talk about the good things and we're brilliant. And I appreciate the platform, too. Thanks, yes. Thanks for keeping me around. Yes. So thank you for that. Um, okay. So May. Whew. What a month. The beginning of the month, I was just like in a world, a, we both were, world yeah. um, Another great South Coast Spring Arts Week in the books. Yay. <laughs> um, we Heart Fall River was a great success. I, yeah. I have to say, like, I, I, close to a thousand people came, I would say. I mean, it seemed like it was busy from the time it started until it ended, and it was a really nice flow throughout the whole day. Great weather, great music. It just was a really fun event, and that's yeah. why, you know, it's and that's a celebration of our community. It just shows, I mean, I'm sure not everybody there was from Fall River, but it was just a really nice atmosphere, and um, yeah, and I'm really happy that that was went off without a hitch. And then tell, Open Studios was pretty remarkable. Yes, so we had the second Open Studios uh, that FRAC hosted. Uh, we had 11 locations this awesome. time. And, you know, it was it was a little different than last year because last year it was part of the Fabric Arts Festival. Right, so it was, right. it was a standalone event this time. But I will say that sales were made. I know because we bought stuff. Yes. <laughs> but other than that, there were, there were additional sales made. There were introductions made. And, and that's really what it's all about. It's about opening uh, these spaces up. And, and there was some some new spaces I think we talked about that, that came online um, yeah. in support of this event. So the website is still up on Frax. Uh, oh, you know, like you can go and check out the Open Studios page and you can see a little bit. Um, yeah, definitely use that as a Recap. resource. And, and yeah. I'm sure some of the spaces are open on a more regular basis. Mm -hmm. Some of them, that, you know, it was just that was just when it was open. But I mean, definitely, um, especially this, the the studios on Anawan, they have second Saturdays at the Narrows. Um, 28 Anawan is becoming a new spot. Um, they've got Rox Art there, who I love her. I mean, I bought some earrings, <laughs> and then uh, Craftiest Shop, of course. Yep. So I thought I had a great time. I know at the end of the day, you know, I had a really nice time too, and that's I, what I like. it, it's it was a lot of locations. Eleven was a lot of locations. Cases. Yeah, no, it was, yeah. I'm looking for already looking forward to the next one. Great. So yeah, we could go on about May, but we got to get to June. Um, so things are heating up now that we've passed the unofficial start of summer Memorial Day. Yeah. I know. Yeah. That's what, I was like, why is she wearing white? <laughs> Duh, Patty. Um, I wish the weather was heating up like my events, like the, uh, all the events calendar is. I have to say every year when I switch over my closet, this is what happens. The weather gets gets nice it's, okay. Cool. it's yeah, okay it's okay I know you forgive me I do um, you know so some people love Christmas and other people swear by Halloween but for me my favorite time of the year is coming up fash the season <laughs> Get out your stretchy pants. Um, in, a, in a diverse place like Fall River, I think the, the great thing is it's not just Portuguese feast. I mean, obviously that's what a fascia is, Portuguese for feast. But you know, you, you, can, you can take your pick of, of culinary delights and different cultural experiences with the, with the you know, and, and June, um, June is, we've got quite a few feasts of note. Um, 
So already starting uh, the, the first weekend, we've got um, in the Flint, Espiritu Santo, which is a wonderful parish. Yeah. Um, that is that. Uh, then, oh, right after that, we've got the Polish festival, La Misa and Pierogies <laughs> and all the, all the good stuff. St. <laughs> Stan, St. Stanis Loss, and yep. that is down in the Globe area. That is the, um, the J June 9th and 10th. Right after that, back in the Flint, we've got um, St. Anthony de Padua. That's on June 10th and 11th. Um, one that I that kind of popped up I haven't been to before. I think it's more of like a, a club type of thing, but nonetheless a feast. Uh, so, uh, St. John's Holy Ghost Club Feast on Pleasant Street. That's June 17th. Oh, great. I think I think June 17th is actually Day of Portugal. Anyway, um, and rounding out the month is uh, my home parish, um, Santa Cristo Church Feast, and that's on Columbia Street, and that's on uh, the last weekend, June 24th and 25th. And I purposely saved the, the not the best, the biggest, the biggest. definitely the biggest, biggest. for last. Um, June 8th to 11th, the Day of Portugal Festival, um, which is actually four days. I like, you know. The days of The days of Portugal. Days of Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a huge draw for both residents and visitors, mm -hmm. which is, you know, just really exciting to have people come in from all over, really. I mean, not even the region, all over, like Canada and different parts of the country. Thousands. Um, there's app, there really, really is something for everybody at this extravaganza. Um, they've spent weeks preparing, and it looks like it's, this is going to be the biggest one yet. Um, they have a stellar lineup of concerts with a lot of big-name Portuguese acts and popular local acts as well. Um, I found out Family Fun Day is on Sunday, and that's um, tons of Family Fun Day is always Sunday, <laughs> uh, with tons of activities for the kids, and of course, their incredible food court, which is like the best part. The thing. Like, um, well, Saturday I mean, and Sunday, it's yeah. open. Um, so you can find mm -hmm. the whole schedule on Viva Fall River's event calendar or on the Day of Portugal Facebook page. So I gotta ask you before we move on, what is your favorite feast food? I'm gonna pronounce it wrong. It's malasadas. Malasadas, yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were definitely gonna go savory. I like a good casserole sandwich because casserole is not something that I just like order on the regular. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like I need to have it like in a feast atmosphere with the sounds of children in the background. Yep. Yeah. That's, I'm looking forward to Good that. To That's going to be very exciting. Now I know what to get you. I need to bring you Melisada on Mondays. <laughs> Always. Melisada Mondays. <laughs> Why not? Why is that not a thing? It should be. <laughs> After Family's Fun Sunday. Um, and so, you know, religious festivals and cultural festivals aren't the only kind of festivals. I and mean, there's also the wonderful Pride Festival. Pride Month is June. Yep. Also one of my favorite months. Um, they are, um, this year, the, the festival's moving. It's going to move down to the gates because mm -hmm. it's gotten so big, which is so awesome that yep. it's gotten so big that it needs a new venue. Um, and it's Sunday, June 4th from 12 to 4. Um, it's, the gates of the city, are, of course, are those beautiful big arches down on Punta Delgada uh, Boulevard, which is on the waterfront. And um, and definitely, you know, check it, check out their Facebook page and find out, like, you know, what, mm -hmm. what other things are going on. But I think just go down there and enjoy it's gonna be a beautiful weekend yeah um, and then you know that just, that's not the only thing going on for Pride Month the forever Pride Committee will also be hosting an LGBTQIA prom night at Greater Fall River Recreation on Rock Street from 7 to 11 on June 24th um, and I mean this sounds like a great event it's 18 plus and it's a fun-filled night of dancing snacking and community building I mean Yes. And you get to wear something cool. And you get to have a corsage. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last thing um, that I was able to look at was um, a super fun drag bingo night at uh, Canned Heat, which is on, on Ferry Street mm -hmm. in the um, the boat yard there. Um, and that's on June 25th, starting at, at 6.30. So, Very fun. Yeah, what a way to end a weekend. With Very some drag fun. Bingo. You will see me at some of those events for sure. Wonderful. I'll be there with you. <laughs> um, you know, and in addition to Father's Day, shout out to all you dads and father figures out there. This month, also has a, another special holiday, Juneteenth, mm -hmm. which commemorates the emancipation of enslaved African Americans. Um, the, over the past, I think, two years now, we've had a Juneteenth festival this year, again, bigger and better, um, back at Kennedy Park from 12 to 6 on Saturday, June 17th. Mm -hmm. And this year's event is being uh, coordinated and hosted by the Bristol ba Black Collective. And I just want to read their mission because they've been doing some wonderful things. They do a Royal Readers program down at uh, Fall River um, Public Library. Yeah. Just a great organization, and I know you're going to be hearing a lot more from them. So their mission is to inspire, educate, and empower individuals, groups, and communities to celebrate, celebrate black history and culture. Um, so I just think that's wonderful that we have an organization whose, whose mission is, is to, to make... Um, you know, more inclusive activities and just, you know, bring bring some light onto maybe parts of history that, you know, we typically don't know about in this in this area of the world. It's not really No, yeah. and it's great to uplift all sorts of voices. I'm I'm really thrilled for them and 
what I'm particularly excited about on that June event on the on the 17th is they got some money from the Mass Cultural Council and from Mass Humanities. Oh, wonderful. Um, and they're going to be doing um, the reading of Frederick, Frederick Douglass. Douglass. Um, so do check that out. That's do wonderful. Check that out. Yeah, that's I know that's last really year big. Reader that's Fall really River important. Art Association did it. So I wonder, I'd like to see that tradition continue. And thank I you to would. Mass Humanities for always putting that on people's radars and providing the funding for people to do that. So that's fantastic. Yeah, that's huge. Um, another question for you. It's questions. It's for Ashley. Oh, yeah. Um, what's your favorite meal of the day? Probably, this is a cheat answer, dinner, because dinner can be anything. Oh, it can be. Uh, that, you know what? That's smart. Because how many, I mean, not too many people have a steak for breakfast. I know they exist. They but do. I'd be chicken, more likely to steak. have, yeah, I'd be more likely to have, like, you know, why not have, like, eggs and pancakes for dinner once in a while? So dinner. All right, all right. It's a cheat, yeah, um, sorry. I, for, for some of the same reasons, I like brunch because oh. you can have a little bit of both on the plate. You can have more, more breakfast, more lunch. So I do meet, love me some brunch, and I can't say I do it as nearly as I, off, as I used to. Mm -hmm. um, but starting Sunday, June 4th, and carrying through each Sunday in the summer, Pier 52, a wonderful venue down on the waterfront at the end of Ferry Street, will once again be hosting musical performances at its incredibly popular Brunch on the Bay series. Oh, beautiful. Um, and this, the, it, the month begins and ends with Big Lux, which is a hip-hop uh, violinist. He's a hip hop violinist, and I've heard great things about him, so I'm really excited to check that out this year. And then, um, uh, oh, this is good. On the 11th, uh, DJ Justin DuPont is spinning throwbacks, which I suspect is probably just music. Our music. jams. Yeah, <laughs> probably our jams. So it's a throwback day, which I think is going to be super fun. And then the week after, they're changing it up again and doing an acoustic duo, Emily and Nick. Nice. So I want. I think that we're no, like we're like that duo too, like Patty and Ashley. Oh. Like, but we don't sing acoustic tunes. <laughs> we could though. We could do some karaoke for sure. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. Um, That's a nice curation of different acts there. I think that they like. I think I love. I, I think I love that <laughs> that they just have all these different musical styles, and every week is something a little bit different. So I think that's wonderful and the great views, awesome food, even better drinks. I mean, I just think. You should definitely check it out. Everybody yes. deserves a little brunch in their lives. Yes, they do. Um, and then also, look, obviously, we're just talking about all this wonderful food and, uh, and culture, and it's got me thinking about the new Taste of Portugal tour that I am thrilled to be able to bring <sighs> yes. to the area. So Viva Fall River has partnered with New Bedford Food Tours on a new food tour that highlights the, uh, the city's Portuguese culinary culture. Uh, so the Taste of Portugal it takes um, guests on an engaging journey. It's uh, a journey of 1.5 miles, three hours. It's being given on Fridays, um, select Fridays, and those are all listed on the New Bedford Food Tours website. Mm -hmm. Select Fridays, um, and the two Fridays in June are June 16th and 30th. That we still have some uh, limited availability for both of those. But basically, um, during during this you know three hour tour, like three hour That's tour, all I, can think I know of. every time <laughs> um, participants sample food and drink and or drink at eight different stops along the way. So you run the length of Columbia Street and along the way, um, the, our, our wonderful and engaging guide, Professor Oda Amarello, um, will talk to you about the immigrant experience and, and how it shaped that area, how it shaped Fall River, how the food and food is so entwined in the culture. And as is religion, we stop off at uh, Santa Cristo Church, which is one of my favorite stops on the tour. And you got a chance to go. Thank you for coming and giving us feedback. Um, thank you for inviting me. It was awesome i had a great time i really did i mean i you know obviously i cr helped create it but it really was just a, re a really good time and odette brings um a lot of her own personal experience and just has a, a really rich history she has a, a big knowledge of, of the rich history of the portuguese in this city so i'm really thankful that she works with i us, mean so. i i have to really second it and it's not just because i got to go on the it, it was i didn't know what to expect mm -hmm. i had no idea what to expect i showed up and i was blown I really was blown away because it was, it was relaxed, it was funny, but it was very informative and like super enlightening. And, and I've said this to everyone I've talked to about it because I've talked to many people <laughs> about it since then. Is it is someone who I I am not of, of Portuguese descent, and so exploring parts of Columbia Street was something that I hadn't done on my own. Same to me though. I mean, you know? I grew up in the area, but I'm not like the most Portuguese person. I, mean, I know plenty <laughs> of people who are more Portuguese than me. And I now I feel comfortable. I feel yeah. like I'm more comfortable with that area, which I think is like my wildest hope for this is that yeah. people would get to know Fall River on a deeper level and like forget what you think you know, come and just, I felt so much more like 
Like, I felt enlightened. Yeah. I felt enlightened and full. And full. <laughs> I was just going to say, I, please tell me. I didn't eat dinner full. that night. I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't eat dinner the next day, too. No. Um, but so, yeah, let's stay on topic. So, saying on, so yeah, spread the word, newbedfordfoodtours.com. Uh, please do come with us on one of the, um, the many. We have, I think, eight or nine throughout the end of October. Okay. And we're always willing to do private tours, too. Me especially. Uh, so staying on the topic of food, we never stray very far. Um, there's an interesting event at the Fall River Public Library on the 13th at 6 p.m., Mushroom Hunting in Massachusetts. Oh, yeah. Which I think is really cool because if you're even considering eating any mushrooms that you see outside, you should definitely go here because you do not want to get the wrong mushroom. Just saying. You'll get so sick. You do not. Um, also want to mention, have to mention, this is a great annual event. It's actually, this is, instead of Memorial Day, this is the official kickoff to summer in Fall River. It's the kickoff to summer at Ruggles Park from Greater Fall River Recreation. Went last year for the first time with my daughter. It is so packed, but it's so wonderful. All the community services there. Everything's free for the kids and families. It's such a fun event. Awesome. Um, and that's from 11 to 3 that day. So you have to go to their Facebook page to see all the cool things they have, but believe me, it'll be worth it. And then really quickly want to talk about the Viva Maker Shop. Back, put my hat back on <laughs> because we, um, we might have missed the one-year anniversary of T-Viva, but we're not missing the one-year anniversary of the Viva pop-up shop, which has actually been renamed the Viva Maker Shop because we're no longer a pop-up. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so come on the June 14th from 5 to 8. We're having a little birthday party. Um, meet some of the makers. Shop over. I think we have 55 makers uh, and artisans and artists now. And we're going to have an awesome birthday cake from Europa Pastries and Coffee Shop. So I'm super Wonderful. excited. Happy, and, happy uh, birthday. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It. And yeah, we have some great workshops too. So you know, please do go to vivafallriver.com, check out our workshops. We've got watercolor, another um, macrame class. So um, yeah, that's just a small selection of events. I mean, I really tried to cut it down because I want you to talk about some of the awesome things that Frack is doing. Mm. But you can always go to vivafallriver.com. Right on the homepage, the events are listed, um, and then also our social media. Take it, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> How much time do I got? Okay. Um, so the first thing we have coming up in June that is FRAC related is we have a free online class available or workshop or however you want to define it. But it's free, it's available for you, uh, you but you do have to register. Mm. Um, visit the FRAC website, thefrac.org, and visit our uh, Ignition Fund page. Or you can visit us on social media. We have the link in the bio. Uh, the workshop we have coming up is on June 7th. It starts at 530 and it's called Essential Marketing for Creatives. And what we're gonna do during the workshop is we have a few different uh, panelists, I guess presenters, presenters and panelists. Yes. Patty is, is one of them. Um, and we also have Allison Wells and Helen Granger, uh, Wonderful. fabulous creatives who, who have a really good handle on marketing. And they so do. what we're gonna talk about during the class is really focusing on social media and e-blasts, like e-news yeah. and, and mailing lists. Facebook, Instagram, and e-blast, that's what we're gonna cover. Yep. And it's gonna be pretty, pretty 101, but with some insights and some like, you know, practical knowledge. But yeah. we, 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 we're preparing a really, I think it's gonna be great for anybody, whether you're an artist or creative or just wanna like learn a little bit more about social media and, and e-blasts. Yeah, and I and we, we picked these particular platforms of social media and, and, and e-blast because it can be low to no cost and it's something that is we believe super effective and you know obviously we reach you yeah. <laughs> some some of you on that platform so uh, do check it out essential marketing for creatives it's on june 7th from 5 30 to 7 30 and it's online so do check that out um, and that is the continuation and that's a, another workshop that frack's offering for free as part of our ignition fund mm -hmm. program um, and so you'll recall frack has offered some previous workshops and we talked a little bit last month about vanya vivaris's uh what would I call it? An event that she had within um, the open studios yes. that we had. Yes. Uh, Real Weird, Super fun. right? Real Weird, Real Weird came out and performed, and, and Vanya um, had a demo. It was it was really she had, wonderful, like, book, like, and a readings. book reading I mean, as well. Great. Yeah, it was great. So as we continue the Ignition Fund, besides the free workshops like the marketing one, we have more projects happening in the city. So the next one coming up is Brooke Mullins Doherty, oh, great. Uh, another obviously Fall River artist, and Brooks. Uh, Peace Orange Billows will be installed inside the visitor's center, the Thomas Hudner um, Center, 
at Heritage State oh, Park. Oh, wow, what a great um, space. And so maybe you might have seen Brooke's work. It's up at Groundwork, it but Brooke, Brooke has honestly been exhibiting in the area for, I've known her, and we've interacted with um, exhibitions actually in the past for well over 20 years. Um, an established artist actually teaches at Bristol Community College here oh, uh, within the arts department. And so she will be having an artist talk and reception on June 25th. Oh, I have to write this down. Yeah, so I will, um, we don't have the exact time for it, but once we do, you know, we'll, we'll be sharing that out everywhere. But do save the date for June 25th. That's, that's a really big one. Um, also happening on June 25th is an encaustic workshop oh. at the Narrows. Uh, Marky Lynn Raposa, uh, who's one of the artists that has a studio space there, participated an open studio mm -hmm. um, is an encaustic artist and well, what is encaustic you say um, encaustic is essentially painting with hot wax oh, that's so cool. um, and so what you can do with the hot wax is you can layer it you can put color into it you can put other materials I into it's it in, it's Greek in origin I think that's I believe that's why I feel like that's what what she said when I was talking oh. to her I know it's fascinating though I, I actually did not know it was hot wax that is really cool encaustic work and there's uh, and to even go beyond what she's offering here with this workshop there is like a whole New England England encaustic wax group that exists. I've met them before. Every day I love Their work new. is fantastic. Encaustic work, it's you know, it's one of those things where you want to know how to do it properly because you're playing around with hot wax mm -hmm. and all that. So um, do check it out. It's on the 25th. If you are interested in registering, um, visit her studio with the narrows. Actually, just yeah. go right in I and, think and we register. We have it on the website, and too. it's online. We have the, uh, she wants she wants her to call, either give her a call, call or stop by ten um, to four it's daily. A, yeah, it's a, it's a it's an intensive workshop. It's definitely not like one of those two hour drop ins. I mean, you're going to learn how to do this medium, and I think she, like her stuff is so beautiful. She's been doing it for so long. This is like a real like. It's a great opportunity to learn something new and just something interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah and all the supplies are included in, in the fee for that. I love that. it. Um, but speaking of a, another opportunity for arts for a, a, perhaps a different group of creatives <laughs> is um, Studio Life has been hosting some open art classes at the Children's Museum on Fridays. And so all through June, every Friday coming up from 2.30 to 4.30, Go on by the Children's Museum. Um, and Perfect for after school. You know what I mean? Sometimes you're just not ready to take those kids home. No. Take and, them by the Children's and I've been Museum. watching. I've been watching. The diff they, did, uh, they did some cherry blossoms with, with fingers recently. They've oh, really been really? doing some wonderful projects. So shout out to them. I love a good collaboration. Yes, yes. <laughs> she also does um, vacation, uh, vacations, like yeah, week, summer, week summer, long summer camps. Yep. So go check out the website because Maxine went to one and she had a blast. She does great work at blast. Studio Life. It's great work. Um, and then last but not least, I don't think I mentioned this in the whole rundown, the frack meeting. Uh, ah, the frack meeting, it's going to be on uh, June 12th, the, the second Monday of the month at the Viva Viva now Maker, Maker Shop, Shop yes. at 333 South Main Street. So we, we hope to see you there. The meeting goes from five to six. So right there in two, two, in one event, you could you know come by and see the shop if you haven't seen it, and you can also come to this meeting. We had an awesome meeting last month. Yes, we Where did. it was really well attended. It was at the Lafayette Durfee House, and everybody was like just talking about the things that they were doing. We learned a lot. Some people actually like you know talked offline about ways to make some of their ideas happen so that's what it is have an idea come and talk to us come and talk to each other yeah super fun it and was we'll super fun, fun. And we I have really... kombucha on tap you oh yeah and <laughs> <you do. laughs> yeah to think back to last month we, that was a really great meeting and i kind of awesome. had a little bit of like a historic moment where i was like us sitting around this room in this house is very just revolutionary. kind of like revolutionary <laughs> kind of what had happened there previously but it, again cool. it was it's a great place for people to you know not everyone had been to the Lafayette Durfee house they got to go and tour it um, if you're an organization in town and you maybe are interested in hosting a frack meeting reach out to us we Absolutely. love to go to we, we don't love to but we do actually and we love doing it but we go to different locations every single month and we've repeated some but I, I know there's more out there so feel free to reach out if you're interested in hosting yeah it doesn't you really just have to open we're up good the door. guests we're really good yes guests, we, I promise. we clean up after ourselves I might even bring you a gift <laughs> wow <laughs> I don't know <laughs> <laughs> no, I think um, I think that it was really nice, and and then we we learn all kinds of new things. Like they have a, co a hearth cooking class there mm -hmm. that I think is only like fifty dollars per couple, which is insanity. And you can learn like you can go and cook on the hearth. And I mean, again, oh, we, I really do truly learn something new about Fall River almost every, every day. Every time we go to a different location and every location. So every I mean, definitely please continue to um, you know to continue to look at our social media. We're always trying to share that knowledge with you. Um, you know, we're nearing the end of our time with you can't believe flew by I have some awesome things to talk about in July there's a bunch of new events that are going to be happening yep. some new events down at the new Norton City Pier um, please feel free 
even don't let Route 79 deter you because that's going to be beautiful. But right on Duval Street be, uh, between Point Gloria and the Cove, there is that uh, area of land uh, mm -hmm. that was otherwise known as the Big Heap of Dirt. It's got grass now. It's it does gorgeous. Have grass. It's got um, some places to sit. Mm -hmm. And that's the Norton City Pier. And we're going to be doing some events there. We have some events at the gates. Um, so, yeah, lots of things to talk about in July. But until then, please do visit the events calendar mm -hmm. on VivaFallRiver.com. Um, and you can also, um, right on our homepage, sign up for our monthly, news, our weekly newsletter. Yours is monthly. Mm -hmm. You should sign up for hers, too. So you can it's sign monthly. up for it in the same location. Yes. And, um, and ours is uh, weekly. It's Viva News. Comes out every Friday in your inbox, 6.45 a.m., just like your alarm clock, I guarantee you. Um, yeah, and that's it. And I think uh, right now, that's all we have. Have a wonderful month. Mm -hmm. And until then, Viva Fall River.